Milk management companies provide a service to customers where we provide them with farm milk and to the suppliers, which are the farmers, who we collect the milk from. And by having a range of suppliers and a range of customers, we're able to balance out the requirements of both the milk production and what the customers require. Uh, the dairy supply chain starts at the farm where the farmer produces the milk. That milk is then uh, picked up from the farm and taken to a factory where generally the milk is further processed into dairy products where they're packaged or further processed, cheese or yogurt. That product is then stored and distributed so it's available through the retail chain or export chain for the customers. The milk management company acts between the uh, farmers, which are the suppliers, and the factories, which process the milk. When you're sourcing milk for your manufacturing needs, there's a range of things you need to consider. The first one you need to consider is what specification of milk you require. So is it actually raw milk of, that would come from farm, or is it a processed milk that might come from a manufacturing environment, or do you actually even consider a dry goods, like a, a skim milk powder or a whole milk powder? So knowing those specifications is very important. You should also consider what is the quantity that you require and when you require it, because this may be driven by your demand for the product, or it may be driven by how much product you can get and what you're going to be processing it into. The other things that you might consider are the logistics of getting the milk to you, um, when you need it and how much you need it. Raw milk is carted in tankers, so the minimum size that you would probably need to order is 25,000 litres of milk. So that might be a problem that you need to consider. So really there are three options that you should consider when sourcing milk. These are direct off farm, so picking up farm milk, through a milk management company who will arrange the milk delivery for you or talking to a large processor about buying milk directly off them. Sourcing milk direct off farm is where you have a relationship directly with the farmers who produce the milk. The farmers who produce milk must be licensed and they have a, a regulated requirement so that they are a, a, a licensed production site but you need to be able to contact and deal directly with them and make an arrangement which suits them and you, so therefore there's constraints on both sides. One of the advantages of direct or farm is that relationship you have with the farmer, which might be of advantage to you and them in the providence claims that you might be able to make, the quality claims about how the milk is produced, and that direct connection between the producer of the milk and your dairy products. The disadvantages of buying direct from farm are the complexities of arranging your dairy production requirements and the production requirements that are coming from the farmer. Agricultural production is generally based on seasonal influences, so there might be a mismatch between what you require and what can be produced. And secondly, there's the issues associated with dealing with a small number of farmers where there might be uh, risk associated with that, whether it be quality or whether it be composition of the milk that is being produced, may not match what you require. These things can vary. And, and lastly, there's the logistical issues associated with having to take the milk when it's produced um, and arranging that all to happen. How you would contact farmers would be to perhaps contact the farmer lobby groups, um, other options are to take out uh, advertisements in regional newspapers in the Daring regions. You might refer to websites what those regions are. There's word of mouth, you might talk to people about where they get their milk. You might know some farmers, they may know some people that are interested in supplying, depending on what your requirements are. The second option for sourcing milk is to deal with a milk management company. The advantages of sourcing milk from a milk management company is that they will work with you to ensure that your requirements are met. They will ensure that, that you get what you need when you need it and that it does meet with all of your requirements. That takes away the headaches of the logistical concerns, dealing with the farmers, payment of farmers and those associated other complexities that come from working directly with farmers. 
Some of the disadvantages of sourcing milk from a milk management company is that you are one step removed. They take control of the logistics, providing you what you want, but you may not have that direct connection back to the farm. If you want to contact the milk management company, then you would search for milk management or milk broker, or you would look to contact the industry association, which is the Dairy Industry Association of Australia. So the third option for sourcing milk for manufacture is to buy it from a large dairy processor who have the farm based supply and the manufacturing facilities in their region. They may also be able to process the product into a semi-finished ingredient that you may require. Some of the advantages of sourcing milk from the major dairy processors are that they offer uh, continuity supply flexibility in supply so you get what you need when you want it and they will deal with the farm and logistical issues associated with what you require. They may also have a range of ingredients that you buy rather than just direct off farm milk. Some of the disadvantages of sourcing milk from a major processor may be the loss of uh, identity of where the milk came from because they were picking up from a, a wider range of farms. Um, they may have already put the milk through a factory so it may be commingled with other milk. Secondly, they also have another outlet for that milk so commercially it has to work for them um, which means that you actually have to convince them that selling to you is a good option. The way to contact the larger milk processors is that they will be present in the major dairy regions so you should be able to work out which are the processes in that region. They'll all have websites, they'll all have sales managers that will talk to you about what your requirements are.